Hello Power and Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at the Target exclusive Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Ninja Black Ranger. So this is the last of the four original Ninja Rangers released at Target for me to take a look at. So I just recently took a look at, which should be on the same day as this video, the Ninja Blue Ranger figure from Target and this arrived at the exact same time in the same box. So we have Ninja Black here, it is another Adam figure. It looks really cool in black. I love this mold when it's not full of QC problems. So to have it here and to have it be for one of the best characters in Mighty Morphin and honestly just the franchise in general, I'm really excited to have him here, the frog himself. So yes, this looks awesome. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at him and everything he has. So he does look pretty good. I don't think there's really any QC problems on mine that I can really tell. Uh, he does seem to have two distinct fists as far as I'm aware, which is something I have to look for now ever since my Ninja White. He also has both his hands sitting there and the hand is not chilling inside the neck joint like it was on my Ninja Blue, so that's good. He also looks to have, this is definitely one of the kicking effect pieces. You can just see glare when I do that, but this is definitely one of the kicking effect pieces. And of course you have the nice Tom Whalen artwork there with the frog coin and everything like that. So I'm really excited to get the whole team here to line these all up. They're gonna look really nice uh, when we're able to do that. There's the side of the box there, and on the render, or actually, maybe this is not, maybe this is a Karate Chop one, which that one looks pretty cool. It's like a smaller sort of effect piece. I really like the effect pieces we've been getting with the ninjas. They're all pretty distinct, and there's the barcode there. So let's go ahead and open up Ninja Black here and take a look at how he compares to all the other ones in this wave. All right, so here's the Ninja Black Ranger out of the box and everything that you get. And if you've got Ninja White, if you've got Ninja Blue, you pretty much know what you're expecting with this one. It's essentially the exact same figure again but that's how most power rangers lightning collection figures work and it does look really good so taking a closer look at him here i don't really have any qc problems as far as i can tell in terms of the paint which is great <laughs> i love how the frog turned out there i think the gold really pops i mean adam has the benefit of having you know the gold on this black suit so you just have this really nice black and gold look which is always a really cool color scheme and so um, i really like how this turned out uh, for this figure but molding wise it's the same thing as blue it's the same thing as white it will be the same thing as red which is to be expected so of course the articulation is the same you still can't really move this joint too much but you can rotate it uh trying to break in some of the joints here oh that's pretty good yeah all right that that bends really nicely okay oh yes <laughs> so adam has like no problems with the joints on here good job adam you're the this is literally the best uh, I've been able to have with these figures to actually break in the joints. It doesn't feel like I'm breaking them They all feel not loose, but like easy enough. They these feel like how the joints should feel but Like I don't feel like I'm gonna have to like bring in a pair of tools to like, get the tools to get the tools to get the joints to work So that's really good. I'm really glad about that uh, This is this, this is a little loose though on mine. So that's interesting Yeah, that's definitely a lot looser than it should be but that's not really that big of a problem uh you know, for the most part i don't think that that would be a problem so let's just kind of readjust his leg there a little bit though so i i've always i always forget but these do have like a drop down like leg joint sort of it's just really kind of hard to use that joint but it is there and i forgot to mention that entirely i think on both ninja white and blues reviews which means i'm probably gonna get comments about it it's because it's such a weird joint that I, i'm never really gonna use that at least intentionally unless it just kind of does it <laughs> but yeah also i didn't really focus on the head too much there's the uh, the head that you get with it. And of course, these can move a little bit, which is really cool that they kind of have a joint there. So you can kind of have them like blowing in the wind or something, which is definitely something I think is pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and have him stand up there, which yeah, that leg is pretty loose in terms of trying to rotate around. So maybe that will be a problem, I don't know. <laughs> but hand-wise, you get this splayed open hand for his right hand. And then for his left, you get this karate chop hand, which is I think what the effect piece is mainly meant for. So, there is that and then of course the effect piece is here it's a karate chop like effect piece with a little slot in there for this hand in particular so i think you're supposed to put it in this way something like that or possibly the other way if it's like swiping down so probably like that so <laughs> we will swap that hand in a minute uh, to showcase it on the figure um so of course let's take a look at the atom head sculpts that you get the alternative heads so of course we have the first head which that went on there pretty easily so there it is and i think it looks pretty close like johnny on bosch i think that the atoms we've had so far which is pretty much the exact same atom head with, with that they gave us with zeo green and mighty morphin 
a metallic black. I'm pretty sure those two figures share the same head sculpts. This is like our first time getting a second uh, Adam head sculpt in the Lightning Collection, and it looks like we are about to get a third with the upcoming Mighty Morphin Black and Wave 12 with whatever version of Adam that's going to be. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that all around. So yeah, I think for the most part, the Ninja ones have turned out a very nice head sculpt wise. And of course we can put this piece on there and then attach this head, which also went on. Oh, I thought I had it. Maybe not. There we go. So <laughs> there it is. I never know if I have the collar piece facing the right way. Ooh, I think it might be supposed to go that way. And that was not on the joint. There we go. Now I think it is. But yeah, there's the, the form that I'm more than likely going to keep it in for most of the time. But yeah, that is the Adam head sculpt. And I really like these a lot. So let's go ahead and swap his hand there. So we can take a look at that karate chop piece on the actual figure itself. So that swapped pretty easily. I didn't feel like that was going to break or anything like that. So if we just kind of slot that in there and kind of bend the, uh, the elbow joint a little bit and then, ooh, wow, <laughs> that leg rotation. Like, look at that. <laughs> so definitely made him want to like completely uh, fall over. But come on, can we get it in a kind of cool pose without you completely toppling over? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that, right? Ooh, jeez. <laughs> that is going to be annoying. Like, the boot's trying to rotate and stuff, too. So, like, it just kind of is trying to go all over the place. Come on, Adam. I believe in you. You can stay up. <laughs> so, uh, we'll get this hand and stuff out of the way here. So, we'll go ahead and grab Ninja Blue. So, we have the two of them. So, these were the first two that they were that they announced. And then, of course, they also announced Ninja, nin announced? They announced Ninja White. And they announced... This is the Kimberly version of Ninja Pink. I don't know why I don't have her with the uh, Kimberly in between head sculpt on. I just kind of have them <laughs> as they are. So we'll kind of line them all up here. Uh, but that is the whole crew so far. So I really like that uh, they did four of them at once here, but also really like that they have already announced uh, the Ninja Red and Ninja Yellow and the Catherine version of Pink. It's just really cool to like be able to get these in now with the pre-orders finally shipping and have that reassuring idea that we will be able to get the other ones, <laughs> you know, actually be able to complete the team within basically about a year or so by the time that those three come out. So I don't think those three really have like a solid release date of target, but it's really just two that we're waiting on because you can totally skip uh, either the Kimberly or the Catherine version of pink. You can just pick up whichever version you want. Obviously I'm going to get both versions, but for the most part, the figure is going to be the exact same besides the head sculpts. So I'm really excited to get the whole team with this. I think Ninja Red and Yellow look fantastic. They are probably my favorite of these suits, uh, but I really like how these figures turned out a ton. I love how they can capture the look from the movie as well as the look from season three of the show. And I think that they're going to look fantastic on your shelf alongside a little Tenga army or if we ever get a Rito figure, that would look fantastic. And uh, I think that if you can find them in stores and you can find some that have all the accessories, that have decent looking paint, that don't look like they're broken inside of the box. I can highly, highly recommend these figures, but the problem is that these are just plagued with all of those really terrible QC problems that I definitely know make them difficult to recommend, uh, you know, unless you have a chance to look at them before you buy them. But I bought all of mine pre-ordered online and I got pretty lucky, except for that weird thing with Ninja Blue's hand and my Ninja White having two left fists, which like I said in my Ninja Blue video, I have a replacement Ninja White that was sent to me from Target. I just haven't bothered to open it yet, so this is still my messed up one. So I do have a replacement there, we're good, and I have a proper Ninja White at this point. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it for Ninja Black, and so far, all of the ninjas that we have in the in the Lightning Collection. So now we just have to wait for the other three to come out sometime this summer slash fall, and uh, that's going to do it. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter, at LiveNinjaKey, or at LightningFigPR. And of course, I'm going to leave in the link in the description below to Ninja Black on Target's website, which I think should be in stock soon, if not already. And uh, you can also find it in stores. It's been found all over the place uh, if you'd like to go that route. So until next time, I'll see you all later.